Hello and welcome to King Arthur Knight's Tale. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. This is part of our game mechanics series where I'll go in depth on specific game mechanics. If there's one you'd like to see, please post a comment and I'll do my best to get to it. In this video, we are going to be talking about loyalty. Now, the best way to see loyalty and understand how you can impact it is in the character sheet which you can access in the adventure map between missions. Left clicking on a character will open the character sheet and loyalty is in the top left. Now, loyalty is very important because it will impact your performance in battle. And having disloyal characters will make the game extremely difficult. So you will want to manage loyalty and you have several options at your disposal and I'm going to review those. The biggest thing that impacts loyalty will be your morality. So as you make decisions and start building out your morality tree, that will have an impact on loyalty. So those that share your morality will gain loyalty, those that don't will lose it. You also have characters that are neutral. So neutral characters will neither gain nor lose loyalty as you build morality um, so something to keep in mind. So the best way to impact the neutral character's morality is effectively through events and assigning them different positions that can impact their loyalty. So let's take a look at morality in a little more detail. You can see here I built relatively good loyalty with Lady Dindre. However, her morality is Christian. So as I build this playthrough, towards old faith, she will become disloyal. So there are things that I can do to puff that loyalty back up outside of morality, um, such as assign her positions or through events. So in this particular case, there were a few events that allowed me to gain loyalty. I basically spent gold to host events to make my companions more loyal. Now on the flip side, we have Sir Balin whose morality is old rightful. And this is a perfect character for my play style or my morality in this particular playthrough. As you can see, I am starting to build towards rightful old faithful. So you can see his loyalty is five good in building out. And I haven't done anything with him except the fact that he aligns to my morality. On Sir Balin, you can see Christian Tyrant is the direct opposite of what I'm building towards, and therefore he is disloyal. So I'm getting double hit every time I take Old Faithful and Rightful, he will get pissed off. So at some point I will probably dismiss him and bring in more characters that better align to my morality or are neutral. Now, there are ways to improve morality very quickly. So as you progress through the campaign, we will unlock seats around our round table. So for Defender of the Bridge, we can gain plus two loyalty. For Royal Protector, plus three loyalty. Now, what's really important to note about these different positions is make sure you understand your characters and what they value. And you can do this in the character sheet under traits. So Defender of the Bridge, if I assign Sir Balin there, I will get 100% loyalty for the title of Defender of the Bridge. So he will gain plus four instead of the basic plus two on average. The same goes for Sir Balin. There are characters that do not benefit from court titles. So for example, Lady Dindrain is mission conscious, no loyalty from court titles. So placing her in one of those titles nets me absolutely nothing. So don't bother. In this particular case, I'm going to assign Sir Balin because Sir B B B Balan instead of Balin because we get plus four and he's a character I'm going to want to maintain. So I just jumped up to nine. If you hover over loyalty, you can see what's building up to it. So that is loyalty. There are events that occur where you can spend gold and keep your knights happy. Decisions that you make can positively or negatively impact loyalty. 
and as you build out your morality chart that'll have a big impact on your characters based off their traits so make sure you read their traits you understand their morality and that you're aligning yourself or surrounding yourself with knights that are loyal because as you do so you gain additional bonuses as increased damage and an additional uh, action point disloyal characters will do less damage and lose action points this can have devastating consequences to your playthrough so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please drop a thumbs up and comment if i missed anything i'm still learning the game i have uh, i want to say eight or nine hours under my belt so i'm learning the mechanics in depth and please post a comment if you want to see more in-depth uh, mechanics of the game or specific mechanics of the game and i'd be happy to review them thanks for watching and hope to see you in future videos